Some attacks spread their damage over a short period of time without counting as damage over time effects. These include the Arcane Wizard's Beam, the Tessa's Lightning Bolt, Thor's Mjolnir, Nivis's Range Attack, and the Lightning from the Sorcerer's Stones in Origins. The way these attacks deal damage is through distribution. Like all attacks, the game randomly picks a number between the minimum and maximum damage. Each number has an equal chance to be picked, but whatever damage was rolled is divided by the number of ticks in the attack. The ticks are each individual instance of damage that the attack does. For example, the Tesla deals 13 instances of damage with its lightning bolt. That means 13 ticks. So when the Tesla generates a number in its damage range, it divides that number by 13. Keep in mind that this new number is always rounded down. Therefore, the highest damage that beam attacks can roll is the highest multiple of their ticks below their max damage. Nivis, for instance, has 18 ticks for his attack. Even though his listed max attack damage is 80, the highest damage that one of his attacks can deal is 72 damage. There are two exceptions to this mechanic. The first is the Tessa itself. It doesn't register the star upgrade that increases its damage. Therefore, instead of 121 damage rounding down to 117 damage, the real max damage of a Tessa chain is the next lowest multiple of 13, which is 104. The second exception to this is the Arcane Wizard. Instead of each tick dealing the same damage like other beam attacks, the first tick is different. This first tick deals enough damage to make it so that the total beam damage is exactly what was randomly generated. So the Arcane Wizard alone is the only beam damage that doesn't get rounded down. The final aspect to all beam attacks is that they try to deal just enough damage to kill the target on the final tick. So they will deal less damage if the enemy has lower current HP than what they rolled. This can still be messed up if the enemy is killed by an external source during the beam animation. Other than the enemy duplication video, this was by far the hardest science video to make. But now that it's behind me, I'm beaming with joy.